working with three pound weights, not super heavy, but doing multiple repetitions. So all I want you to do first is just open it up, take a nice deep breath in, reach your arms out, and then reach forward as far as you can. Lengthen the spine. Take from here both of your hands and cinch down to that right side. So let's just create as much space between the heel and the hip, the shoulder and the crown of the head. Keep your spine tall. Reach back up and then just gently rotate to that other side. So lengthen, keep nice long lines, contracting the quadriceps, lengthening through the spine. You're not rounding or slouching your back, keeping everything pulled in nice and tight. But at the same time, contracting and releasing that tension in the back of the legs, rotate forward. Now from here, you can interlace at your elbows and just exaggerate that range of motion and create some nice circles here. So just let your head, neck and shoulders go. And then just rewind that circle the other way. Very good. Now from here, I'm gonna ask you to come down as low as you can. Now, maybe this is as low as you can go. Maybe you can come down further. If you can sink down and keep your heel down and rotate just as far as you can. So I want you to create as much space as you can in your hips. Now in the morning, the hips can be tight. So you take it easy, reach it back up, and then sink down to the other side. So lengthen and open. You can always pop up on your toe. You can keep your toe down, but try to keep this heel down to the floor. And then lengthen and reach here, you guys. Reach your arms out as far away from you as you can. Now think about that space between your hips and your fingertips. Soften your knees, lengthen your spine, walk your hands into your knees, and then take from here, your right shoulder and rotate it to the left. Now, as far as you can, sink that energy down low. Other side. All right, so first 30 are jumping jacks, you guys. If you can only do a half jack, you're just gonna step tap. If you can, let's jack it out. Two, four, six, eight, First 10, two, four, six, eight. Great job, you guys, 10 more. Two, four, six, eight. Jump rope, so from here, same time. Now you're soft on your feet. Nice deep breath in. Backwards jump rope. Inhale, exhale. You want to jump at least 50 times a day. Reset bone density, half time. Deep breath in. Keep going. Tap your heels. Doesn't work, you step. Tap your toes. Nice and soft, you guys. And relax it. Reach, keep your heart higher than your hips. Exhale, inhale. One more time. I want you guys to pick up your three pounds. For this first move, if you feel like you can do a six pound row, you're gonna take both of the weights in one hand. What I want you to do is rotate your right foot to a slight angle. Shoulder's gonna stay back. For the first move, I can keep my legs straight. I don't wanna let my shoulders sag down. I'm gonna row up. I can keep my legs straight or bent, but I'm gonna keep it straight. One, two. Now wrap it behind your back. For four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now bend your knees, sink as low as you can. Open up your hip here, start that lawnmower. Four, five, six, great work you guys. Wrap it, seven, 
Don't let your shoulders sink. Eight, nine, 10. Back to straight one more time for five, four, three, two, and five with your knee bent. Five, four, three, two, one more, and relax. Push it back up. Rotate the toes forward. Take a moment and stretch. You can take one weight out as far as you want to and sink your chest down toward, towards the floor. Take a big breath in. Shoot arrows of energy out of your hamstrings. Deep breath in, soften your knees, and you're gonna pick up those weights on the other side. So all I'm gonna do here is just gently rotate, take that toe to a slight angle. Shoulder's gonna stay back in that socket. I'm gonna lengthen my hip and row. One, two, three. Now pinch and squeeze through your scapula for five. And six, pull your belly button super tight, seven, eight, Nine, if you can bend your knee, you're gonna do it. If not, you can always stay straight. Two, three, try to sink that quad as low as you can, you guys. I know you can do this. Five, six, seven, wrap it, squeeze it. Eight, nine, go back to your straight leg. Five, four, three, shoulder back, two, and five with your knee bent. Five, Four, three, and two, one more, and one. Great work, you guys. Lengthen and open one more time. Shoot that away from you. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, exhale. Now, if you can extend your arm open with one weight, try it with two. If it's too heavy, stick with the one. Now, all you're gonna do from here, Bend, lengthen, and then kick. So it's a three-part move. You're bending your knee, rowing, straightening your leg, lifting, and then reaching. If you want to, when you bend, you can bend your back knee if you want to, then straighten it, and then reach. Bend, row, straighten, row, reach. Bend, row, straighten. Row, two, bend, row, straighten, and three, bend, row, lengthen the spine, four, bend, row, straighten, don't let that shoulder sink, bend, row, straighten, four more you guys right here, bend, row, straighten, lengthen, three more, Bend, row, exhale, two more. Bend, row, uh, lengthen one more time now. Bend, row, lengthen, and rest. Take those weights down, push your knees open, relax and lengthen here your spine. Crown of the head to the ceiling, lengthen the legs, push up. Roll the shoulders back, other side. Quick little stretch here if you wanna bend from here and pull. You could also take one foot on top of the chair, take a deep breath in or hold the wall. Switch it up, contract the quad, lengthen and open. Relax your shoulders. Great work, you guys. Line up your knees as much as you can. All right, let's rotate to the other side. So from here, a tiny rotation, bent knee, first part of the move, bend, row, straighten, row, and reach. Ready? Here we go. Bend, row, and straighten, one. Bend, row, lengthen your spine for two. Bend, row. Lengthen, squeeze, three. Tuck that elbow back and rotate it. Lengthen, inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen, rotate. Inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen. Four more, bend, row, 
Lengthen. Here we go. Three more. Bend. Grow. Lengthen. Let's do it. Two more. Bend. Grow. Lengthen. One more. Bend. Grow. I feel like we need to do one more just to make sure because my counting is not always that accurate. And then reach for it. Very good. Hopefully we're somewhat even there. So big breath in, you guys. Open. Spread your wings. Sink and sweep. And open. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to come to a plank move. If you have a hard time doing a plank, you can build a plank by leaning up against the wall and build that strength from there. Now, I want you to have one of your weights. I'm going to show you from the side and I'll show you from the front. So, if you have a weight that will stand up, great. If not, you can keep it down. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold that plank, pull it in, tap it out, and try to keep your hips as square as you can. So try not to move too much. If you can prevent it, I want you guys to keep your core pulled in really tight, okay? So all we're gonna do is go out in, out in. So nice deep breath in, it's far enough away where you can keep your hips square, in, out, in, out, in, out, two. Three, four, squeeze your glutes, five, six, palms under your shoulders, seven, eight, nine, one more, both sides, and rest, push back, let it go, rock your hips, you guys, side to side, if it's not comfortable, you could always do a puppy pose, lengthen and open, big breath in, push back to a downward facing dog, your feet can be slightly wider, take from here, your right hand, reach towards your left quad shin or shoe, big breath in, Contract the quadriceps, reach back out and lengthen, switch to the other side. So big breath in now, you're gonna walk it in, reach for the sky and walk it out. Inhale, exhale, hold from here the plank. Out, in, out, in, push back down dog, walk it in, inhale, reach. If it's too much to keep coming up and down, you can stay down and stay down on your knees. Out in, out in. You can always drop to your elbows. Inhale, exhale. So say for instance, my wrist need a break, I would drop down to my elbows. Out in, out in. I can push back, then start to walk it back. Inhale. Exhale, walk it out. Inhale, out in, out in. Walk it back. Inhale, one more time, you guys. Exhale, walk it out. Nice deep breath in. Out in, and out in. Push back down dog. Lengthen, walk your hands in a little bit closer to your feet. And then one more time, take your left hand, reach to your right, quad, shin, shoe. Shoot the arrows out of your hamstring. Switch to the other side. Walk it back in, soften your knees, and roll it up. So grab one of your threes. So the first 10 is gonna be a knee pull, and all I want you to do is drive your knee through and extend back out. If it doesn't work, you pull into your hip and modify the movement so you need shoulders back, belly button in. Reach to the corner of the ceiling, pull through one, two. I want you to pause for a second, three, pull the belly button in, four, 
five, six, seven. Exhale as you lift the knee, pull the belly button in. Eight, nine, 10. Now you're gonna go faster, pull it into your waist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now five with the first. One, two, three, four, and five more fast. Five, four, three, two, and one. Open up your hips. Exaggerate. You could always pick up the other weight. If you want to try it with two weights, you adjust this so it suits you. So reach for the sky. Knee pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pull that belly button tight. Eight, balance coordination. Nine. Now pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Again, slow five. Four, three, two, one. Pull through. One, two. Three, four, and five. Great job. Take a moment. Place the weights down. Take your hips and just gently move them side to side. Now, really pushing that hip out as far as you can. Rotate, keep it nice and long. Reach. If it helps, take from here your hands right along your shin. Lengthen your spine, crown of the head forward. Contract, walk it back up. Stick your hip out as far as you can. Reach, lengthen. How much space between your hips and your fingertips? Lengthen and open. Take a nice deep breath here, you guys. At any point you need a break, feel free to take a water break. We're gonna go back to the weights now. And we're gonna go 30 shoulders. So what I want you guys to do from here is you're gonna rotate the shoulders back. You're gonna hook from here and take your right elbow and lift it up and your left elbow is gonna come underneath. Now I'm gonna to try to keep my arms parallel. Squeeze, I've got the bicep and the shoulder and then transfer to the other side without shrugging. So one, inhale, Exhale, two, keep your core nice and tight. Three, line it up, open it up. Four, inhale, exhale, five. There's no tension at all in your neck, six. Drop the weights if you need to. Seven, inhale, exhale, eight. Now squeeze your shoulders and your biceps, nine. One more. Now all I want you to do here is just keep that left arm, flip it, contract and squeeze and bring it back. One, two, three. I'm keeping that right arm up. Four, isolate and squeeze. Five, wrist stay strong and straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it under. One. Two, squeeze it, three, and four, for five, and six. Exhale as you open, seven, and eight, last two, nine, last one, and 10. Fantastic work, drop those weights. Jog it out and shake your hands out. Now, as soft as you can be, on your feet as high as you can lift your knees. Make sure that your weights stay in front of you so there's no chance of you slipping and sliding. Just shake it out. Keep shaking. Two. 
Two more. One more time. And then all we're gonna do here, you guys, is pick up those light weights like you're running in place, okay? So first thing I want you to start with is just to square off your hips, keep your neck in neutral. You're gonna kick back for the first 10 and just open your tries. One, two, three, four belly buttons in, five, you're just kicking back. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now what I want you to do is you step back, your right hand's gonna come back, your left elbow's up, pull, push, one, two, three, squeeze your tricep, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now faster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch to the other side. Hinge from your hip, elbows high. Kick back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze your triceps, eight. You can always stand up nine, keep your neck in neutral. Now step back, bicep, tricep, one, two, three, four. Keep your elbows in one place, so just a pivot point. Six, seven, eight, nine. Just a little faster. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you notice, as we're standing on one foot, that front foot sometimes will get fatigued. That is your assisting glute medius. So as we isolate and stand on one foot, even if it's just a little bit of pressure, you're still working those assisting muscles as we go through. Now, all I want you to do is sink down a little bit low. So from here, just a tiny bend. All I want you guys to do is step tap, lateral raise, step tap, but stay low. One and two. Now from here, the weights are no higher than your shoulders. Lead with your elbows. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more both sides. Now just your right. Fast, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch it. Stop with your arms. Even if you don't have weight, squeeze. Contract your bicep shoulders. Three, two, one, give it a rest. Roll back, roll forward. Take from here the weights back down. Directional jumping jacks. We're gonna go ahead and go around here, you guys. Five times each direction, half jack, regular jack. One, two, three, four. Rotate, one, two, three, four. Rotate, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, we're gonna rotate the other way. Keep nice and strong, you can always tap. Rotate, two, three, four, rotate. Two, three, four, one more. Two, three, four, relax it again. Alternate, if you can, you're gonna to start to drive the knees open, one side then the other. Exhale. Five more, just side to side. You can always stay in close. Three and two, one more. Now we're hitting the ground here, you guys. You're gonna hold on to your weights if you feel comfortable with them. If you have a hard time coming up for this first move, I would sink back just as far as I can and then reach and then come back in. Maybe tuck a pillow or something behind my back. The movement here, 
You're welcome to go heavier, but for me to lift those arms up at the angle, I just refer three, so you guys can go fives or eights. So go ahead from here, pin your low back down. You're in a pullover position. As you exhale up, reach to the corners, don't shrug your shoulders, pull back in, inhale, exhale, inhale, pull over, exhale, and reach. Inhale, pull over, exhale. Now you have one line towards the ceiling, the corner of the ceiling. There's no tension or stress in your neck. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Now we're gonna go to a bridge pose. So I'm gonna come down here. The weights are over my head. If you notice, your low back is lifted off of the floor. Tuck from here your pelvis and imprint your spine. Now really activate from here your pelvic floor. Pull the belly button in. When your buns come up, your weights come up. But when you come back down, your low back touches the floor right away. Exhale, one. Exhale, two. Squeeze it, three. And four. Exhale, five. Exhale, six. And for seven. And eight. Nine. We're coming back up again for five. Inhale, exhale, go back to that first part of the move if you can't keep coming up and down. Exhale, two. Inhale, three, two more, four, one more, and then that bridge one more time. Imprint your spine. Squeeze for five. And four, squeeze the weights, three, and two, and one. Relax it, drop the weights for a moment. If it's comfortable, you can hug the knees in. You could also hug in front or just pull them in. If you can come to a happy baby pose, imprint your spine, take a deep breath in, and then just lengthen. Now let's shoot some arrows out of our heels. I want you to lengthen your spine and cause a nice big imprint. So from your tailbone to the top here of that neck, really lengthen it open, relax your shoulders. Big breath in, flex your feet. Now I'm gonna to try to shoot arrows out of my legs. It doesn't always work. Sometimes the knees are slightly bent. From this position, if you can do this with weights, you're gonna take a big breath in, palms facing each other. Now I'm gonna lengthen and open. You can just do your arm, you can just do your leg. Right arm, left leg, low back touching, left arm, right leg. Your opposite side to side. Exhale, right and left, and left and right. Now maybe I need to bend my knee and bend my elbow, but I'm gonna keep that low back pressing the whole time. Exhale and inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, inhale. Just like a reverse bird dog. Four more, and three, and two. Just one more both sides, you guys. Inhale, exhale, and rest. Bend your knees. Place it down, give yourself one more big hug. Relax from here, those knees in. We're gonna roll over into that plank position. Now, if you feel comfortable doing a jack from plank position, you could always come back to a standing and do your step tap if you want to. But from this, it's an overall body. I could step tap here and step tap here and just do half of the amount. We're gonna go 30 times, jabs. Palms or elbows, ready? One, two, three, four, 
six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten more, two, four, six, eight, and rest. Drop down and push back. Let it go. Deep breath in, you guys. You're going to push back to a down dog. <clears throat> Come to a plank. You could always drop to your elbows. Dolphin, plank. One. Two, if I choose to come down here, it's very abcentric. I'm engaging that core as I hover, squeezing and lifting through that belly button. Overall body, if I'm coming from my palms, push back, hover. So back to that plank. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Three, two, one more. Rest. Now, the movement is going to be, you guys, down, down, up, up. If you need to do this up against a wall, you can go down, down, push up, up, if that works better for you. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna go with your left elbow, down, down, up, up. You can drop to your knees, down, down, two, down, down, three. Make sure that you replace your elbow with your palm, under your shoulders, four. Same side as leading, five. Inhale, six. Inhale, seven. Inhale, eight. Inhale, nine. One more. Rest for a second. Push back. If you want to lengthen and take your right arm underneath, you can also come from that puppy pose. Big inhale, switch to the other arm through. Now it is the right. You're gonna notice one side is easier to push yourself off of. Generally your dominant side has more strength, so a little bit easier to push yourself up. You can also hold plank the whole time, no need to move. Big breath in. Right side, down, down, up, up, one. Inhale, and two, three. Use and drop to your knees if you need to. For four, elbows under the shoulders, palms under the shoulders, five. Six, inhale, seven, you can always go faster or slower. Eight, nine, one more. Rest it, puppy pose. Lift those hips high, sink your head low. Take a moment if you feel comfortable, dropping your head to the floor, grabbing onto your heels, rounding your back, tucking your chin in towards your chest, this is the bunny rabbit pose. So lengthen and open, create that space. You can also come from here, cat cow. Now, five and five, we're gonna start from the ground and we're gonna lift up with that left arm first. So from the ground, from your elbows, you can also stick to your knees. Left arm first, up, up, down, one, up, up, down, two, exhale, up, and three, two more, up, up, down, one more, up, up, now just transfer to the other arm, up, up, down, one, here we go, we're so close, this is two, exhale, three, last two, and four, one more, and rest it. Just sink your hips back, big breath in you guys. Tuck from here, tuck from here that left leg in, lengthen your right. 
Reach from here, your left arm out as far as you can and open. So palm up, just create as much space between your toe and your hand here. Big breath in. Reach, 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 open through your oblique. And then draw it up, grab on as far as you can and then reach your palm up. Now I'm gonna to try to keep my shoulders stacked. If I have a hard time and this is better, that's okay. But if I can open, hip, shoulder. Now, left hand is gonna tuck behind the back, push the hips up, reach to the corner of the ceiling. So deep breath in from this position here, I'm opening as much as I can. Deep breath in you guys. Now I'm gonna take from here this top hand, really pushing my hips forward as much as I can, opening my hip flexor. And then all I'm gonna do is transfer and just draw that hand right on top of the other hand. Big inhale, create that space for the spine. Nice exhale. Let it go, relax back down. And then we're just gonna to switch to the other side quick. So open, lengthen. Now reach out as far as you can and just create that nice long stretch along your side. So big breath in. Nice big breath out. Now rotate, shin, shoelace, toe. Keep the opposite hip down and reach for it, you guys. Line up your shoulders, but relax them. So if this is as far as you go, you go as far as you can, keeping that nice stretch nice and long. Now I'm gonna go ahead from here and tuck that right hand behind the back, push the hips up. So really focus on pushing these hips and opening. Now create one line between your toe, your hip, your shoulder, and your arm. You're reaching to the corner of the ceiling, you guys. Big breath in. Now rotate that palm down on top of the other. Awesome work, you guys. All right, so now we have 30 movements for the glute minimus. This movement feels like you're literally not moving your leg. So if it needs to be, if you need to come to your side instead and work this movement in a different range of motion, you do what feels best for you because coming from this position is not the easiest. So as I talk you guys through this, the first thing I want you to do is take your right knee and externally rotate your right so that your right foot is tucked into the instep of the left knee. I'm gonna curl my left toe under so that I can lift my quad and keep it activated. Now the head can stay down. I have my palms stacked right underneath my head. The goal here is to lift up the knee. And what I mean by this is you're gonna feel like, what the hell, the knee is not moving. If you feel something, the knee is moving. So I want you to squeeze the side of your glute. That is your glute medius, minimus. Take a deep breath in now, curl your toe. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the opposite leg active, seven. Squeeze, eight, nine, 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, six, four, two. Now hold it. If you need a break, take it, but hold it if you can. Isolate, squeeze and contract both the left. Lift up that right knee as high as you can, you guys. Five seconds and then last 10 minutes. Three, two. Now give me a pulse from your high point. One, two, three. I know you can do this. Five, seven, eight, nine, and rest. Awesome job, you guys. I can hear the swear words through the screen. Take a big breath in and just rotate left, right. Wonderful work, you guys. Just to show you how it's set up as I contract from here the opposite side, I want to try to really isolate this lengthened leg so that it gives me from here the ability to be able to lift up a little higher. So I've got nice, strong stability of the opposite leg. If it's just down here, then I really am gonna have a hard time lifting that knee. So now I'm transferring, opening up my left knee, contracting my right quad, pulling that toe under and keeping it activated. 
Now from here, I'm gonna lift, I can take my forehead right in and use those arms to push if it helps me. Lift, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale it up, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 minis, 10, nine, eight. Keep that externally rotated, opposite leg activated. Five, four, three, two. Now isolate and hold both, you guys. Really contract, lengthen and open. 10, eight, squeeze and lift it now. Four, two, and give me 10 more minis at the top. I know you can do it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze and lift it. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic job, you guys. Just alternate left, right. Now from here, I'm gonna pop up on my elbows and just bend my right knee, reach back, grab the instep of my foot and just feel that stretch. If it doesn't work, try the out. You can also stay down here. If you have that flexibility to be able to pull that in, you adjust this movement so that it works for you. Switch to the other side. In step if it works. Doesn't work out. And if you want to come all the way down, stretch that in. Now I'm going to open up the knees here as wide as you can to the edge. Push your hips back and lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in, you guys, and just sink your low back down. Inhale, really lengthen and open. So we're gonna go with a renegade tricep kickback, you guys. If you have a hard time, you can always take both weights. You can come from this position or come from your standing or just push straight back. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna do this from a plank. That way you have more access to use the overall body to help you at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna open up from here into that plank. You can use one or two weights, it's up to you. And if remember, too much, drop to your elbow and you'll just transfer that body slightly open. All right, so deep breath in. You could always drop one knee. Here we go. One, two, three. Elbow pivot point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pulse it, 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze your try, five, four, three, two, five, slow again, kick back full range, five, four, three, two, last five minutes, five, four, three, two, and rest it, you guys. Drop down, reach from here, that arm out to the opposite corner and really lengthen. Deep breath in. Nice deep breath out, you guys. All right, so now, other side, adjust that movement. If you need to drop to one knee, then you have your tricep kick back or you're standing up or you're bending. So big breath in, palm under your shoulder. Elbow pivot point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Ten, eight, six, four, two, full range. Five. Four, three, two, five minis, five, four, three, two, and one. Great work, you guys, from here. Let's open to take a second first, reach that arm across to the opposite side and just lengthen and open. Big breath in. Nice inhale. Big exhale. Now from here, I want you to pat yourself on the back. If you want to, curl your toes under, stretch out your toes at the same time. So just pat yourself on the back. 
and line up your elbow. So just open up here through your tricep. Take a nice deep breath in, you guys. If you feel like you're shrugging your shoulder, try to rotate from here instead. If you feel like this is just too much, big breath in. Keep those toes curled under if you can, and then switch to the other side. So just tuck it in. Nice inhale, you guys. Make sure that your weights are in front of you. Now, one or two weights up to you. So for this movement, it's going to be the front snap kick, but I'm gonna reach those arms up, pull into the waist, and then front snap kick and step it back. So reach, one. Now I want you to pull the weights right back to your hip. Three, and kick as high as your waist. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also bend if you need to, nine. 10, now faster, one, two, three. Keep your form though, four, nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, slow for five, four, contract and squeeze, three, two, five fast, one, two, Three, four, one more. Awesome work, you guys. Roll the hips out. Just exaggerate that range of motion. Rewind it the other way. Keep increasing that range in your hip and your spine. Roll the shoulders back. So create some nice space in the shoulders. Rotate them forward. If you need to drop to one weight, go for it. Opposite leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just a little bit faster. One, two, three. Tuck it to your waist four. Five, contract and squeeze, six, bicep, seven, eight, nine, so low, five, four, three, exhale, two, speed it up for five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Drop those weights, you guys. From here, rotate all the way to your side. So just take a moment, heel in step, lengthen and reach. Bottom hip lined up with your top hip. Don't shrug your shoulders, open. Deep breath in. Rotate and take that top arm and just place it right to that shin. You can step out your back foot if you'd like, take a nice deep breath in. Reach your arms behind you. You're gonna pop the arms up. Take a nice deep breath in. Now, from here, I'm gonna take my hands in prayer position, okay? Rotate over that knee. Deep breath in. I need my feet to be hip distance apart. If I can, my right hand's gonna come behind my back. Left hand is gonna travel. If it doesn't work, prayer position. Deep breath in now. Rotate back to that prayer. Back through, step it up. Triangle pose, so first open and reach. Now create as much space between your fingers as you can. Bottom hip. Tucked under, shoulders relaxed, reach for the sky. Connect with your breath, inhale, exhale. Rotate, top arm. You can take it to the shin. You can also take your back leg and square it off. Sink down low. Reach those arms up. Now create as much space here. If this doesn't work, you pull it in and you tuck it. 
Big breath in now, hip distance. Prayer position. Rotate over that knee. Nice deep breath in. If it feels okay, left arm behind the back, right arm travels, and that helps leverage and rotate that shoulder. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Back in, arms back and step. Awesome work, you guys. Pick up those weights again. Now, biceps and calf raises. I want you to open up your heels, shoulders back, belly button in. So from here, your elbows are gonna tuck in and you're gonna pop halfway up. So one, and two, and three, for four, squeeze your biceps, five, six, and seven, great job, you guys. Eight, pin the elbows right into your sides, nine. Now from here, hold it in the middle, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate so that your toes are in. Now you're pigeon toed, and as you pop up, you're gonna come to a hammer curl. Up, halfway, one, and two, three, and four, squeeze your biceps, five, nice and tall, six. Exhale for seven, and eight, nine. Calf raise pulse in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk your feet parallel to each other, shoulders back, deep breath in. Now from here, bend your elbows, at 90 degrees. You're gonna pop up, pull back, lift back up. One, two, three, 90 degrees here, four, no shrugging your shoulders. Five, engage your core, six, seven, eight, nine, now 10 pulses holding your arms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest it. Lengthen from here your front foot, push your hips back and reach nice and long. So contract your quad to lengthen and open through your calf and your hamstring. Big breath in, you can always push up against the wall, if that's better, and then switch to the other side. Push your hip back, you guys, and lengthen. We're gonna go back to the abs from the floor. So come back down now, and let's finish nice and strong, you guys. We're almost there, we only have five minutes to go. So what I want you guys to do here is just imprint your spine, take a nice deep breath in, interlace your hands behind your head. Now, I'm gonna tabletop my shins so I can keep my low back down. That's the goal. And if I have a hard time lengthening my legs, I can rotate one to the other. But I'm gonna rotate into the shoulder, to the knee. One, two. Now notice my elbow comes down to the floor as I transfer from one side to the other. No tension in the neck. Five, four, low back pushing, three, Two, now one, two, hold on three. One, two, hold. Two, two, make it smaller if you need to. Three, two, hold. And four, two, hold. And five, two, and six. Relax your head in your hands. Press your low back down. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, two, three, and 10, just a little bit faster, side, side. One, two, too much, hold and rotate. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, and give it a rest, you guys. Take a deep breath in, <clears throat> imprint your spine, interlace your hands. Relax your knees open if that's comfortable and open. So keep that low back pressing down. Take a deep breath in. 
Just 30 or 30 on each side. We're gonna go right here, you guys, and tabletop the shins. Your left hand's gonna come behind your head. Your chin's gonna stay off your chest. You're gonna travel down, reach towards the heel if you can, but keep your knees in the same space. So one, two, just think about clearing your shoulder blades, three, four. Now force that air out, five, exhale, six, pull your belly button in, seven, eight, reach, nine. Now stick with it for a minute, one, two, pull your belly button in, low back down, reach, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, five full range of motion. So five and four. Keep your chin off your chest. Three, neck supported with your hand. Two, five, many is five, four, three, two, one. Rest it up, circle your knees away. Exaggerate the hip flexor stretch. Rewind it the other way. Last time, you guys, tabletop now. Right hand comes behind. My left hand's going to travel. My knees are going to stay in the same space. Reach to the heel. One, two. Just think about the shoulder blades lifting. Three, you're exhaling, pressing your low back, forcing that air. Six, and imprinting your spine. Seven, eight, nine. You guys got this. Now pulse it. One, two. Really push, three, four, activate your pelvic floor, press that low back down now, five, six, reach, eight, nine, back to full range for five, exhale, five, four, and three, exhale, two, now five minutes at the top, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw those knees in, you guys. Circle them away. Fantastic job. Exaggerate. Way to stay with it, you guys. We're so close. All we're going to do is just get one more big stretch. Pull those knees in. Relax your low back down. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen those legs. Shoot arrows out of your heels and then just draw those legs down. Take a deep breath in, you guys. Think about from here all the things you have to be thankful for, that you can move your body, that you can keep your body in shape and keep your health in check. Go ahead and walk those heels to the ceiling. We're going to roll it up, cross-legged sitting if it works. Take a big breath in. Inhale positive. All the things you have to be thankful for. Exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Take another big inhale. Exhale, from here, draw the hands right into that heart center. Push your palm open. Look down towards your left, relax your shoulders. And look down to your right. Take one more big breath, you guys. Inhale, positive. And exhale, anything negative. Relax your hands on your heart. Gently bow your head. Namaste, you guys, fantastic job.